Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another episode of Ravens Roundup. Myself, Jose, Rodney, uh, Mike may be coming through. Chris working on some, so he may be coming through. But we back, man, we back. What seems like two, three, four, five months of uh, MJ, man, cut it out, man. <laughs> cut it out. I can't even get through the... The, the intro monologue without this dude <laughs> coming through. <laughs> but hey, we appreciate if they sent you here, I appreciate it. I appreciate them sending you here. Hey, however, it don't matter how you get here, as long as you get here. <laughs> and hit that like button while you're here. That's what you need to do. Hit that like button while you're here. <laughs> but I appreciate it, man. It seems like two months since we've been here. I took some um some well needed time off. And again, I appreciate the missus for putting that together, man. I, I like me and Brian was talking, and Jose and Hendo came kind of came in on the back end. Had the time of my life, man. Had the time of my life. Uh, if you can travel, man, travel. That's all I can say. If you do, man. I, well I, deserved, I, I, man. To pop up, and you can do it. And, and, and you know the budget fits you. Go, go, get out of yeah. your bubble, man. Yeah, go experience <laughs> something other than than what you're used to. Right, because yeah, B yeah. went to Japan recently. You know, I went to. If you didn't figure it out, I went to Spain. If you can go, go, man. It's, see the world for for 30, 32, 33 years of my life. I was I just was just in this bubble. Didn't realize there was much out there. Wish I had realized it earlier. Wish yeah. I had to realize it earlier. Was never you know, you, when you're in the military, you know. Yeah. So you you got did you kind of get some travel out of that? No. No. East Coast. All of it out of East Coast. <laughs> you, you, just, you from New York down to, to, Fact. to, to, to down to Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't getting much of nothing out of it, but other than the uh BA y'all. I didn't even, listen. I thought I was gonna go to school on the West Coast. Then they was like, nah, we're gonna send you to Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. I'm like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> and the craziest part was after boot camp. So I went to boot camp, third recruit training battalion, Paris Island, right? After I left Camp Lejeune, they was like, you got your new duty station. Third recruit training battalion, Paris Island. I'm like, yo, <laughs> come on. So I went from South Carolina to North Carolina back to South Carolina. Mm. <laughs> yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy. But anyway, I, I appreciate you guys for uh, – Taking that time and doing y'all thing while I took that time off and holding it down for the for the crew. I was I was peeping y'all out. I was I pop in and out of a stream or two when I had a chance and and show love. But uh let's let's see who all, who's all in here before we get started. Trying to kind of trying to fill a bus a little bit, see if Chris can get working what he got going on. But um, we'll get to it. First up, B. What up, B? Ola. And, and, Hola. and what I what I did learn that um where I went to, they kind of sing it. So it's more like a hola. It ain't, it ain't, as hard and stern as an hola, you gotta kind of sing it. Hola, make make it sound nice. Well, Big Red, Cello family, appreciate you, Big Red, for coming through. Who was this? AJ, AJC Senior, appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you. MJ, that's who I was laughing at earlier. Yeah. <laughs> hey, like I said, no matter how you get here, as long as you get here. What up, P Brown, aka P Brownie? What's good? What's good? What's good? <laughs> Pretty girl TLB Chow Chow. That's is that French? Italian. That's Italian. Oh, Italian. see. Hey, I need to get that too then. Chow. <laughs> JB, what's good, JB? Hey, I tell you, if y'all don't know JB, and I don't know if he still do it or not, but before the Ravens used to play, JB used to go on Twitter and kind of give like these um quote unquote pep talks. Mm -hmm. and, and he would have me about ready to run through a wall. <laughs> so, so if you don't follow JB on Twitter, I, I, I don't know if JB's that's his Twitter name or not, but he used to get these pep talks about like what the Ravens need to do to get these dubs, and he would have me ready to, to run through a wall, you know, pregame. I think I even uh, put one on like my little pregame thing like a couple years ago, but he, he had me fired up before the game. So appreciate you for coming through, JB. Uh, we got Quinn say like, everybody need to travel. Definitely. Definitely. Right. If you get a chance, go. Get a chance, go. What up, Marcus? What up? What up? What up? What's going on? Hey, before I, while it's on my brain, and because I know it's coming up quick, y'all talk about what y'all got going on April 6th. Hendo, 
Oh, I'm sorry. April 6th. <laughs> <laughs> we are giving a stadium tour to all our patrons, you know, the ones that actually signed up. It's actually closed right now, but we're taking a trip down to the stadium. We're going to tour the facilities, tour the grounds, tour the actual football field. And then afterwards, we're going to all hang out, get something to eat, possibly, you know, just kind of connect and give back to the patrons that support us on a daily. So the, so the, the actual tour is closed, correct? Yes. So yes. what yes. about the the after the tour is that after still the tour, a possibility? Anybody, yeah, anybody's, anybody's welcome. welcome. Okay, so if you're in the area, if the, the actual tour is closed, so if you're in the area, connect with these fellows and 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 you know get with that that hangout afterwards. Now, I personally, you know, hey, just came back, I ain't gonna make it. <laughs> no, you know how that is. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Just came yeah. back, I ain't gonna sure. make it unless you know one of y'all want to sponsor me. Not not y'all. Somebody scrolling on the dead. side over there. Yeah. Unless y'all want to sponsor the whole thing. <laughs> Flight, hotel, and everything. Unless you want to sponsor everything, I'm not gonna be there. Y'all want to sponsor the meal? Go for it. If you want, to, I'm just throwing it out there. I'm not gonna be there. But if you feel froggy, right? I will be there. <laughs> oh, speaking of, since you're back, coach. Hey, mine in the kitchen. I'm tripping. That's right. I got this is for all you guys. Get it for everybody. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. everybody. The Whoa. first sip for me, second sip for everybody else. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but hey, I appreciate it. Up, I appreciate everybody. Appreciate it. Hey, coach, coach yes, cancer. How many how many tally points is that? For what? <laughs> for sponsor you. Know? <laughs> oh, hey, if he gonna sponsor the whole thing, he can he can win for the he next all, three months. He get all the tally points. <laughs> we can shut it down. He he can win right. for the next three months. It's just you. <laughs> it's right. It's you and nobody else. <laughs> Everybody else don't exist. <laughs> but uh, so since I left, free agency started. Uh, I think like the day after I left, or the day I left, or something like that. And mm-hmm. a lot of stuff that went down since then. Um, mm-hmm. and and this ain't one of the topics. Well, I guess it is one of the topics. So we let's just get in get on to the topics, and we have some some conversation that may pop up about a certain individual, aka villain. And um, we'll mm-hmm. kind of matter of fact, let's start with the villain. Mm. Let's start Your with boy. the villain. Your boy, my my guy. And mm-hmm. I ain't really spoke on it. I was kind of waiting for this to speak on it. So um obviously PQ left. And went to the Steelers. Uh, I think three years, forty-one 21. mil. Um, I don't like. I, I mentioned. I mentioned it briefly in the other video. I don't think he got the money he thought he was gonna get. Um, yeah, that's part one. Part two. He made some comments about um, he want to be the villain or whatever. Then a bunch of the fan base kind of went at him and and kind of you know just went. Just went at him, and then he made the comments about just shut up, it ain't that serious, or whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> so, my thing is, and you know, I get your money however you need to get it. I understand that because we didn't pay you, we didn't feel like we felt like Matt BK was more important than you, which and I can understand some bitterness there. We all human, I that part I understand. The part I don't understand is like if you want to be the villain, if you're going to say that, why when people come at you. You kind of. Then why are you picking way. on me? <laughs> yeah, you got you kind of feel a certain way when when people decide to come at you. Like so, you I feel like you threw this out there. Hey, what up, little, Mikey? What up? What Mikey? up? What up? What up? You 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 made the comments like you want to be the villain, but now you're in the villain role. You you don't want people to come at you. You, you I mean you 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 asked for. I feel like you asked for this smoke. To be to be fair though, like people started started with that before he said the villain thing. Uh, Possibly, you know, yeah. As, as soon as and, and as I was out, of, I was out, out of touch before I wasn't here when it happened. I'm yeah, but, you know the, the, the Raven, Ravens fans did the Ravens fan thing, where as soon as it came out that he was signing, it was all oh, he sucks anyway. He can't tackle and blah blah blah. We had to get Roquan to, to do your job. All all this stuff, and that's you know. And then after that, he said the the villain stuff, and but you know, like. Patrick Queen is uh he's very online. And uh, that's just how <laughs> that's that's how people are when they're very online. <laughs> so, that's, that's, that's a good term, uh right. He's very online. That's, that's a really good term. Now what I what I will say about it is for that side of the ball for them, mm-hmm. a lot of pieces on that side of the ball. So don't don't expect him to go over there and suck. No, 
No, not at all. Not at all. He's he's gonna he, he's gonna fit very well over there. It's a good fit for him. And I mean, if they're paying the most money, good for him. It's a business. Now, I mean, yeah, I mean, he expected there's gonna be some some blowback. You're going to our biggest rival in the league, you know. Um, so that's why he, you know, he said I, I'm okay being the bad guy, but he ain't really okay. He doesn't know what it's like, mm-hmm. right? So he's gonna get a taste of that, but it is what it is, man. He'll he'll be fine. What up, Mike? What up, man? What's good? Doing? I'm living, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just had a birthday this past weekend. That's so, right. Happy birthday. You know, you know, happy birthday. Yeah, man. So, you know, one year older or wiser, as they say. More seasoned. More seasoned. Got, got a little For extra sure. old bay on you. That's all. For sure. That's, <laughs> it. That's, all, That's it all it is. That's all it is. Nah, but uh, it's I don't care. It got to feel weird for him. It looks weird. You know what I'm saying? Uh, of all places, you know, I was just kind of like, that's the last place I expected. Right. Um, but, you know, to Zay's point, man, go get your check, man. If that's, you know, the word is Baltimore didn't even offer. When you do that, it's fair game. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, it just feels weird, though. It looks weird. I know it's got to feel weird for him because um, it was some, you know, he had a he had a little bit of beef with Tomlin. Sure did. Um, From the so, jump. Yeah. So uh, we'll see how it goes, man. But it's it's gonna be weird to see him over there. Yeah, I was I was like anywhere but there. Yeah, anywhere but there, with, which made it seem extremely extremely crazy. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it is what it is, man. At this point. <laughs> Got to do what you got to do, and now he's he the ops now. Yep. So, and you, you saw my reaction reaction when I saw it. I had to change my Twitter profile <laughs> quick. <laughs> and I'm, I'm I'm gonna be a fan from afar. And I, I really like I I wanted him to go somewhere where I can root for them when they didn't play us. Mm-hmm. I can't really root for them when they don't play us because any victory they get is gonna affect us. Yeah, man. And I race for the playoffs. So now I, I really got to root against them. In all yeah. games. <clears throat> so, but, you know, I'm on the slick, still kind of be a fan, but I just, I, I I can't wait for them three years to be up and he goes somewhere else. <laughs> you you root for his individual performances, but not right. for wins. Exactly. Exactly. I'm that's, P, I'm that's a, the way it got to be. I'm a PQ fan. I'm a Patrick Queen fan now. Where, where's the butt in there? Ain't no butts. Oh. That's my guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's my he, guy. He went out there and he weakened the division rival. <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, like it's a huge butt coming. It's coach, ain't no butts. Like, I'm a fan now because to get that level of petty <laughs> to want to spite your team, you have to be focused. Because to me personally, your man, I'm pretty sure he signed like in the first three days of free agency. If he'd have waited, I'm sure he could have got more than 42 mil. But I don't know, he was man. so. I'm, he could at least got 50, 47, but he just was like, I'm going to go here just to spite the Ravens. So that, that level of petty, like, you have to be lit. Yeah, he's going he to he gonna have to be locked in. I respect in. that. He's going to have to be locked in on game day because you know all 11 coming at it. Mm-hmm. All 11. Well, maybe not. Whoever the, the four new linemen are, probably well, not going to come at it. But. <laughs> Linda that's, that's the only lineman that's that's what they, they have to focus on TJ Watt, so he's never going to be priority. Facts <laughs> and, and Cam. Let's see, let's see, again. And, and, and Hoss and Hoss Smith and yeah. Smith. You know what? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> he, he may be unblocked. <laughs> <laughs> he just don't like he he. You know, you got players that are like, all right, yeah, he's a stealer, right? He's that mm-hmm. type of player. He he's not. He just don't feel that way. But maybe it's because he was here. Mm-hmm. Um, but we'll see how it goes, man. The root. The word is that it's really an overly dressed one year, thirteen million dollar deal. So he could be out of there following this yeah. this year. Yeah. The way most the most, most deals are one year less than they signed for, yeah. and and that one could be two years less. But most of the time, when they sign, like Henry's deal is. What I'm from what I've heard is is a pretty much an overly dressed one year deal. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we'll see. We'll see. Well, that's a good question, Robert. Um, I'm gonna throw this up here. Why didn't McDaniel want peak here in Seattle? Because I was dead set on. I thought that's where he was going. Yeah, 
A lot of people thought that. I was I, I would have placed the bet. That's where he was going. I would have placed the bet. Appreciate you, Agent E. Appreciate it. Uh, I didn't so, like Daniel want any of his players. Let's see. Hey, we'll we'll see how it shape out. We'll see how it shape out. Let, let's get let's get let's get started. Let's get started. First question of the day. Should the drop hip tackle have been banned? And before we answer this question, it took me 30 minutes to, to decide whether the word have should have been in this question. <laughs> <laughs> I was typing, I was like, drop hip tackle been banned or have been banned? <laughs> Elite. Ban? I went back and forth about 30 minutes on that, but I got it right. So should the drop hip drop hip tackle have been banned? Yes or no? No, I don't, no. I don't think so. I mean, no. it's, you know, they're, they're you know, I, I get they, they they talk player safety all the time and you know oh, proper tackling technique, all this stuff. But it's like it, it wasn't an issue until very recently when you had one or two, a couple of high profile players get hurt, mm-hmm. and I think the league is just kind of one they're jumping on the opportunity to rack up even more fines for the players, and two. They're jumping on the opportunity to handicap the defense even more uh, and, and allow more uh, big plays for the offense, more points for the offense. Mm-hmm. So, and I, I just don't trust the, the NFL's officials to call it correctly. Right. That's that's what's going to be the mess, right? Like trying to decipher if it was that type of tackle, you know, it's going to be a mess. But to your point, B, we all seen that that uh, it was an article or a tweet or something that came out that the NFL is a little – they're a little shaky. They're a little scared because their points per game went down a little bit this year. Yeah, defense um, were starting to catch up. Yeah. So this is just another way, man. It's, this was an easy way for them to say, okay, let's take one more thing from the defense um, and let's try to get these points back up. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's going to be a disaster, man. Like, you know, I, I'm looking on Twitter all day today, uh, you know, people arguing what a hip drop, you know, a drop hip tackle is. And, you know, people are arguing, well, this is it, this isn't it. And that's going to be the issue with with these refs. I mean, I think the NFL probably has some of the worst uh, officials in all sports. Right. Part timers. Yeah. So trying to determine what's a drop hip. And we're going we're gonna to hear about this every week. There's going to be plays where they let go. And there are going to be plays where you're just like, that wasn't a drop hip. That's just a regular tackle. But it's going to be a flag. It's going to be mm-hmm. all about the term, you know, like determining. If it's a penalty or not, when it gets called, it's going to be a big thing as well. Mm. You know, for those fourth quarter penalties are going to be huge. So I think it's a it's a complete disaster. It, it should not have happened. Yeah, I think it's going to be to the point where it's like to me, it, it all goes back to when you build your team. Like with with it's so hard to play defense. Why invest in defensive players? You mm-hmm. might as well have the best offense you can because it's so hard to play defense. Now. <clears throat> yeah. Go, go build the best offense possible because you mm-hmm. can't. You, you literally won't be able to play defense here soon. Mm-hmm. So you best. You might as well have the best offense you can. Get get the advantage the best way you can, and then go from there. Uh, AJC says, "Do you think the NFL ever has full time refs?" It's a shame that they don't. The NFL is the the richest sports in america probably second richest sports in the world behind um so, uh, like the what is what's the main league, league and premier league yeah, yeah probably behind them there is no reason why those referees are part-time employees the nfl makes too much money like the like them guys that we see they should man ain't, there's no way that all those refs should be making six figures at least they should but have Nice six figure salaries where all they do year round is like look like look at tape, see where they messed up, fix it. Hell, they should be part of the competition committee. Hmm. I mean the referees should be part of the competition committee. It's mm-hmm. just greed. Look at look at all the individual teams. Look at the owners. Look at how the organization organizations are run. Look, the scouts don't get paid anything. Right. Right. These are these are guys that are building your team. Right. You're you're depending on them and they get paid next to nothing. And they're constantly on the road. They spend hours looking at film and, you know, putting together their, you know, their their boards and whatnot. They do a lot of legwork for these organizations and they get nothing. Right. These, you know, look at the people that that work at the concession stands. They get nothing. 
I mean, they, they're not even employees. They, they're contracted out, right? Um, it's just they're, they're all greedy. They want to funnel all the money to the top. And everything they do is about how to get even more money. So it doesn't surprise me. I mean, and that's that's America, to be honest. They remember that scout. Remember the guy that we met that was a scout for the Sorry, for, for the Panthers. Yeah, and yeah. I, I was telling him like, bro, that's my dream job. Until he told me to pay, I was like, damn. <laughs> what is, I was because I was going. Hey, what, what did he say, Mike? Or can you? So he was saying like, at the point where he was, he was starting to move up the chain. But he was like, you have to be putting in like those those first to five year guys. What did he say, Zay, at that time? 30, 33,000? Yeah, it was it, something crazy. It, it, was, it was low. I don't think it was that. Yeah, it I was. I was that. just like, what? Like, he was just like, you have to be one of those, um, what do they call the guys? Um, it's a certain title that they get of scouts. He's like, like that's one. Or something like that. Yeah. And then he said the turnover is crazy. Yeah. Like, he might be in Carolina this year. You know, they might say, all right, man, we'll need you. Then he might be in Baltimore. Like, he just said it was – he said it was nuts. ton of travel, yeah. you know, but those guys was getting nothing, bro. I had his car around here somewhere. It was a while ago. I still had his car. Yeah, I'm hmm. like – I wonder if he's still doing it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I thought that was wrong. something I might like to do, but – See if he hmm. is. Yeah, like – that, Coach, I was talking to him like, man, I was like, oh, shit, man, this is my – and I would love to do that. He was like, mm. <laughs> <He's> like nah. <laughs> nah. You, you, don't, you don't want yeah, that. You don't want this. You don't want this. Yeah. And that's what I was thinking when Robert typed it, but that's what I was thinking. That's a that's a young and single job. Yeah. Yeah. Until yeah. you then, you know, maybe like you mid twenties, you fresh out of college and you, you know, you kind of living in life. You don't need much money. You mm-hmm. eat sandwiches a lot. And then you know your mid thirties. That's when you kind of then, then, then work your way up and you start your family or whatever. But that's a, just like GA, like you know mm-hmm. when you're GA, you as soon as you fresh out of college, you can GA and put in all the miles and all you need is a corner to sleep in, a a, a, <laughs> a, a bean. What's the what's the the lit mattress? The, the, the futon. Old, yeah, a futon, futon and, yeah, and futon. a blanket and about three outfits. <laughs> yeah. But it does make you wonder, right? How much value do they put into scouting these these teams where mm-hmm. you, you're not paying the guys that are doing all the legwork and you don't really plan on keeping them, you know, maybe one or two, but the high turnover, um, you don't really train them. I, I read an article from Matt Wallman where he's talking about a lot of teams don't really uh, have a system or, or really give them guidelines to, on, on what to look for. They just mm-hmm. kind of send them out there and they got they have to figure it out. So how much value do you really put into or effort did you do you put into developing your team? Yo, like we always say you got built through the draft, but mm-hmm. are you I mean, are you really trying to do that? It's crazy. It's a good question. It's, it's crazy that you don't train the people that like the grassroots of your 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 uh organization. Hey. Yeah. Like these are the guys that are going out to the colleges looking for the next stars of your organization. And you don't put in the time and effort to train them. That's ludicrous. First of all, mm-hmm. you're not paying them. Mm-hmm. So if, if you ain't paying them, at least train them so you can get you know the best out of. Them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> well, you know who gets the best out of them? The Pittsburgh Steelers and their wide receiver scouts <laughs> <laughs> for years. For I just, years, I just mentioned Quiz Watkins in that last video about about you know maybe a guy that. That we could use to 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 add another puzzle piece in the room, and lo and behold, guess who he signed with? The Steelers. The Steelers. They're not playing around this year. The Steelers. Mm-hmm. So we are crazy. <laughs> Let's go to question number two. Uh, here it is. Who is the best free agent pickup so far? <laughs> now, by the this is this is for the league, right? Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm asking. You talking about? Yeah, who you talking about? Now nah, this for both. For the Ravens and for the league. Okay, well, I mean, the Ravens is Derrick Henry. <laughs> Derrick Henry, yeah. I, no, that's no, why no. I said for both, because obviously, you yeah. know, for, for, for the Ravens is Derrick Henry, because it's the only one kind of. No, my, be quiet. Not Josh Jones. <laughs> Not Damar Holland. I mean, Kamar. Kadar Holland. Kadar. You ain't know. You can't even get his name right. Yeah, Kadar <laughs> Holland. Well, I ain't never even heard dude's yeah. name before. He's like, <laughs> so funny. Funny thing about that quick story. You, this you this know past him, weekend. You. No, so I met. I met. <laughs> I met his trainer. 
<laughs> he met <met> somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who's training? Who's training this week? K- Kadar, the dude that just signed with the Ravens. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah. He also trains um Hassan Reddick. Okay. But okay. he was like, Who's your team? I had the I had this hat on. He was like, the Ravens. I was like, Yeah, he was like, Yeah, one of my clients just signed with them. I was like, Who? He was like, That guy. I was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> Google real quick, like, <laughs> okay. yeah. oh yeah, 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 yeah. Word, word. Right. Okay, tell me I said welcome. <laughs> right, right. Mm. Because I like that. That was a time where, like, I can't. Like, he went ghosts, and I was like, mm, where is he for these two years? Um, I can't find any info for oh, what's this for oh two and oh. So he played twenty three. Mm-hmm. So I can't find them for 22 and 21. He's I got some for night for the years before that for Green Bay and and then last year with the Texans, but Texans. there's a gap in there I couldn't find no stats. Yeah, because he's only um he's played he played his first two years in Green Bay. Mm-hmm. He played last and, year Houston. His and total, then it's missing. His total his <laughs> career totals is 26 tackles, one forced fumble. But I'm saying three passes defended in four. He's seasons. 29. He's oh no! Played, he, he, he's played three years. The first two years in Green Bay, last year in Houston. Before then, he played in the, the Maryland. Two, well, the two years, years in there. Did he play you? Did he play in them spring football leagues or something or what? He played in them backyard leagues. Oh, so he, so he was really out of the NFL them two years then. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. That's why. That's why I couldn't find. Him. I was really. I wasn't trying to be funny. I was really trying to figure yeah, out why you know, I couldn't find no info. But Ravens flock is so excited. <laughs> oh, but back to the question. So we in agreement for the Ravens is Derrick Henry, right? It's the only one really. All right. Across the board for the NFL, then who is the best free agent pickup so far? I would I was going to say Kirk Cousins to Atlanta because he changes the dynamic of that team. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to say it's a new up and coming in the NFL, and I'm gonna go with Daniel Hunter to the Houston Texans. Mm. Mm. And that, that so surprised me when I, when I did the video the other day when I was like, I didn't know. Because the first name I came up on was Grenard, and I saw he signed somewhere else. And I was like, why well, Houston let this dude go? Mm-hmm. And as I was scrolling through my list, I was like, oh, they got Daniel Hunter. That's why they let him go. But, yeah, that's a good one. What about you, B? Yeah, I mean, I was I was leaning Kirk as well. But, you know, Kirk ain't never been on a team that mattered. So I don't want to say that one. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with. I'm gonna go with Saquon to the Eagles uh, because their oh. quarterback's a fraud, and he he brings a lot <laughs> to that offense, uh, run game and the pass game. And I think he, you know, I think they get back on track, and they're gonna be very, very, very difficult to defend. I think he's gonna have a monster year for the Eagles. Mm, okay, Jose, Mike, which one? Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, I was I was leaning to Neil. Um, I just think that I think Houston it's not it's not gonna be the same Houston that we that came here twice and, and we we handled pretty well. They are going they are headed to being a problem. Um defensively, I think they that that's not all. They they added that linebacker. Um I can't think of his name right now. Mm-hmm. But yeah. But uh Daniel, you know. They got two legit pass rushers now. Um, Joe Mixon. They added Joe Mixon, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think I think Houston is is headed to being a a real problem, a real problem. So I'm I'm, I'm gonna say Daniel with my man Hendo. Jose, uh, I want to say uh, Justin Fields to the Steelers. Like I, I mean, I thought Russell Wilson was a good pickup, but Justin Fields. For I mean, he could be now. I mean, but definitely for the future. Um, and for a bag of Fritos. Yeah, right. yeah, but that wasn't a free agent signing. I didn't know yeah, we was a do trade, trade, right? Oh, that was a trade. Yeah. yeah. All right, then I'm gonna go with Russell Wilson then. <laughs> <laughs> they got him next to nothing. All right. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, they're, they're set there, and and that was that was a missing piece for that team. So I mean, best player out there, no, but biggest upgrade by far. Yeah, for, for me, it's, it's Wood. Wood to the Chiefs. 
Because I was gonna say as a runner up, it would be Hollywood to the Chiefs. Cause yeah, for, for me, it's Wood yeah. to the Chiefs, and not and not saying Wood's like the best free agent out there, but for what he yeah. does and for that team, to do. like so now yeah. that they have the deep threat guy, then they got the two underneath guys, and they got yeah. the run game to go with it. And then they're gonna go and draft Adonai Mitchell or whoever. Mm-hmm. Like it, it really don't matter who, what 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 one of them receivers they get. If they get just one of those receivers at thirty two. It's gonna mm-hmm. really take them over the top. Whether it's whether it's Mitchell, whether it's um Worthy, okay. Coleman. It, it, I don't, I don't know if it's over the top. They are the two time defending champs. So well, I'm just, I'm just saying because like, right. we was we everybody been crapping on them because of how they won a Super Bowl with 40 plus drops. Yeah, they did. So if they fix that offensively, like yeah, they, they fixed it in the playoffs, though. They weren't dropping did, passes, didn't they though? Didn't they? They they made time to catches in the playoffs, but in the playoffs they they didn't throw it as much either. They leaned on um hat running in crucial situations, and they leaned on um a uh, ten Pacheco, and mm-hmm. then they defense stepped up. Now, obviously, they lose a big piece of their defense too with um Legarius Legarius yeah. need, but yeah, they, yeah. they also kept a big piece with signing Chris Jones Chris for that Jones. monster deal. So, yeah. but eventually they gonna feel it too. Like other teams, because you got a huge contract with Mahomes and a huge contract with Chris Jones. So now, over the next year or two, they're gonna have to start trying to figure some stuff out. But they keep redoing Patrick's deal. Mm-hmm. That's the difference. Yeah, they just they just redid it. Yeah, they up some money. Again. And they and they're actually hitting in the draft. Yeah, yeah I think what's really what's really gonna start to hurt for them is Travis Kelsey, and when he when he you know starts to down. really decline and, and then yeah. retires. That's gonna be a big blow and for him. I, and right I, and now. That ain't for Alfie. Yeah. No. Yeah. Because he he was struggling this year. Till them playoffs. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean not, not yeah, necessarily still still it, might be, it might it might be sooner than we think. You can tell, like, like, like he was aching. He, he, yeah. he wasn't moving as as fluent as as right, stanky man. legish as as as, <laughs> as he used to. <laughs> that stanky leg wasn't as stanky. It, was, yeah. it had it had a little dove body wash on it. That stanky leg had a little shower on it. <laughs> so, uh, but his decline ain't far. He he, he yeah. make it as one more good year, then he might, you know, fall off that cliff. But he ain't gonna be too far behind his brother. Yeah. I thought they would go out together. I really did. I thought they would go out together. Now, when you got a chance to win three straight, and that probably is why he came on back. Yeah. yeah. That's probably why he came on back. So when when we beat they butt this year, not in the because I like and this is this this ain't got nothing to do with the question. Like all, all our games this year to me, the regular season games, I don't care about them. Yeah. Unless we lose, if we lose, I care about them. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I'm worried about what we do in the playoffs. Unless well, we go to losing well, regular season games. That's how we have to think. That's how the Chiefs think, and that's why me and B have been saying all last year you don't ever count the chiefs they don't play for a regular season they play for the postseason mm-hmm. and then it showed you that that's the kind of that's the type of mentality that we need to have moving forward we know what we can do in a regular season we need to keep our minds on the end game that's mm-hmm. super bowl and build and build the team toward the end game yep mm-hmm. all right question number three which free agent move made you say huh what <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Kirk Cousins now that we've seen that the Steelers got filled for a bag of bread, <laughs> a bag of chili Fritos and a Chico you know stick a Chico stick. Yeah, it's like <laughs> I mean they paid that man all that money coming off an of ACL injury, and here's the bear saying uh, we got somebody we giving away for free, basically. So, yeah, you know, it would have been a lot cheaper at this point. Um, but yeah, I, I'm gonna go with that one, knowing that knowing that the Bears had Fields hanging out there for for nothing. All right. <sighs> for me, it was um. Dang, I just had it in my head. It wasn't Kurt. Was it the QB? Because it could be it could be Sam Donald to the Vikings, knowing that you had a top ten pick and could go get a quarterback. <laughs> that that was wild too. They say I wonder how much. We oh yeah, it was QB Jefferson before, <laughs> before this draft. Uh, it really was 
re-signing Baker for the amount they re-signed him for. Mm. Even though he kind of played his way into it. I mean, it's the Cause with them, with, with, with them winning them games, they, they really was in no man's land with a pick. Mm-hmm. So I mm-hmm. kind of understand why. Hey, Donja. Um, I want to say let me let me I'm, let me well, let me wait out let me wait y'all go ahead let me go ahead. I want to say Baker but let me let me let me think about it a minute let me think about it a minute worst free agent sign what one that made you say huh it has to be a worse signing or just one that you just got you surprised just, it's just one that confused you made you made you wonder like what you do that for it, it could be Ravens it could be in the league it's it's kind of up to you I thought Aaron Jones going to Minnesota oh yeah that was good well, you know, it's like I don't know. You 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 probably would have been better, better just staying in Green Bay. No, they didn't want him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. After they well, got Josh, they asked him. Yeah, they asked him to take a pay cut. He was like, Nah. Oh well, yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do then. <laughs> but to that point, AJ Dillon coming back don't make no sense. <laughs> <laughs> so can it be a culmination of things? Oh yeah, yeah. Because now that I think about it, it's a call. Listen, it's a cause and effect. It's causation. It's the hiring of Jim Harbaugh. Oh, but that wasn't the thing that made me go home. The thing that made me go home was you traded away Keenan Allen, you let go Michael Williams, you let go Austin Eckler, and you brought in Greg Roman as your offensive coordinator to be the coordinator for Justin Herbert, who's nothing like Kaepernick, nothing like Tyrod, nothing like Lamar. What are y'all doing over there? Like, that's what really was like, mm, I don't know what they're doing. They got the bus, though. Oh, yeah, Gus Edwards, huh? Gus going for 1,900 yards this year. You mad? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe attempts, not yards. <laughs> All regular season attempts. <laughs> All regular Life season. 1,900 Man. miles traveled. Life about, to get, Life about to get real for Justin Herbert. Yeah, it is. Right. So so I got one for you, Hendo. Now, since you put it all like that, anybody signing with Minnesota, any skill guy signing with Minnesota or New England. Why? Because there are New no England quarterback a answers. I can get New England a little bit if you think, hey, I'm going to be playing with Jay Daniels, maybe. You know, you know, maybe that's appealing to some people, but it's not a sure thing. But right. you know Sam Darnold's in Minnesota. Why are you why are you even taking that call? <laughs> 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 Yo, Justin Jefferson gotta be sick. He's sick. <laughs> that man, that man turned down thirty million dollars. He like, oh, yeah. He like, nah. <laughs> I'll wait. <laughs> nah, I'm good. I'll say for me, it's a it's a small signing for me. Go ahead. Uh, it's with Carolina. Why you waste your time with Clavon Chase on? <laughs> Y'all sign Clavon Chase on? Yeah. yeah, is it Caleb? I, I, I thought it was Clavon. Caleb I can't. Caleb, I can't Caleb. even. I can't say Caleb. I, don't know. I can't I don't do know. it. Y'all made, y'all made a bunch of moves over there. I, yeah. I did notice that you have three, if not four, linemen. Did you sign? Uh, yeah, they signed three. They signed um, uh, Robert who, Hunt from Miami, mm-hmm. Damian Lewis out of state, uh, out of Seattle, who guards and a tackle, right? And they signed uh, Yash Nijman from Green Bay. So they they've been doing their their work trying to, bad. trying to reload. I mean, he's just going to be a he's going to be a backup. He ain't, he ain't playing. Uh, Nimmy, yeah. Who is who was the other tackle for y'all? Uh, it's Aquanu and Taylor Moten. Oh, okay, okay. You got a center. That's not the first we have made. I don't know. They're right, right now, right now they're talking about moving Austin Corbett to center. Okay. Which I don't think that you know they say he's he's played a little bit there, but he's coming off of two, uh, you know, major injuries. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping that they're going to draft somebody or, or sign somebody a little later on. But right now, Austin Corbett's the plan at center. Gotcha, mm. gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, any, anybody that to me, anybody that signed with any skill guy, preferably receiver that signed with with Minnesota or New England, mm-hmm. I'm wondering like, what the what are you doing? What are you thinking? Yeah. Like, bro, you you, don't, you may get twenty catches, maybe. Austin Eckler to Washington, but you know they always pay free agents, right? But Eckler don't necessarily need a good quarterback because you can Eckler can be the check down Charlie and get you, you know Eckler survive Eckler thrives off that. 
Yeah. Eckler can take a mediocre quarterback and, and do good. He's been doing it all his career. Look at Justin, I mean, not Justin Fields, Justin Herbert. Yeah. Mediocre. Eckler had career years. So, you know, Eckler don't need a good quarterback. He he's proven that he can he can get oh numbers. God, Herbert mediocre? Yeah, yes, I did. Wow. He had a horrible year this year. Herbert's a wow. good quarterback, man. He, he, I think he's a good quarterback. Uh, I just think, you know, back I, I just think he was on a bad team. Like, I mean, he had he had talent, but terrible coaching. Terrible coaching. Wait till but, he break out wait. that four nine seven speed this year in that read <laughs> but, option. But this year, uh, and he throw the Johnston. A, a <laughs> lot. That, that's a lot of talent to walk out the door at once. Now, yeah. now, Mike, you you say that, but his the last his last college game, um, they were kind of balling him up, and they the Oregon kind of went to their read option stuff, and he he ran for about hundred yards. He got busy. Yeah. Yeah. He can, he can, he sneaky, it, sneaky. It, athletic. That's, who, that's who that bowl game was against. Bo Nix. <laughs> Bo Nix. Mm-hmm. So that Bo- tells you how old Bo Nix is. <laughs> Bo old as hell. <laughs> that game was against Bo Nix. So, which is crazy. Call my man mediocre. Bo Nix old as dirt. <laughs> all, right. All, right. all right. All right. Here we go. <laughs> now, what grade would you give the Ravens this free agency period? This for everybody. Comment, so comment section so far. Up so until far. right now, up until 9 48 p.m., it's a D plus March. What's this March 25th, 2024? Up until right now, what yeah, grade a, would you give the rate? It's a D plus because you got Derrick Henry, who's a good running back, who's a better running back than you've, than you've had there. Uh, and they needed the running back, but you still have three holes on the offensive line. You didn't, <laughs> you didn't bring anybody in. At wide receiver. <laughs> Man, it, it was coach. It was a D plus for me. Okay, well, it was a, it was a D plus for me when the only thing they did was just pick up uh, Derek Henry because we needed two guards. We had we we needed to fill that position, and then we traded away our starting right tackle, and. We're talking. I'm hearing John Harbaugh talk today about, oh well, Falele is going to be in the mix for right tackle. Okay, well, I mean, I'm sorry, I I, I got to give you a D minus, and that's being fair. That's being nice. I really want to ask. Right. I'm like in the mix with who? <clears throat> right. <laughs> right. Because he's also he gets to the senses that Pat Ricard is not is not going to be uh, taking any snaps at O line this year. All right. Hey, I, I honestly I haven't watched it yet, but I think Josh Jones might be better than Falele. Probably, I, I, I probably, so. and that's not saying much. <laughs> you know, somebody asked him about Voorhees. That's uh, again. I was I mean, waiting for that one. His his answer should have been, I mean, Voorhees is you know, he's he's a guy. He's going to come <laughs> into camp and he he's, hope he's healthy and he's going to compete. That's what it should be. It shouldn't no, be his answer should have been I don't know. He ain't never seen him play. Right, right. The the, the answer should be we'll see. Right. Yeah, we'll see. That's that's what I am like. We'll see. Yeah, uh, T Pine says they're high on Voorhees. They shouldn't be. We'll see. High, and, high and, and the thing is, he he may be good. But he may we'll don't see. know. We don't we'll know. Right. You can't pencil him in for a starter right now. You see, the last time we penciled somebody in to be good, they played. They played six games in four years. What's his name, Hendo? Which one? Who we start with an I, end with an O? I don't know. In you talking about in Jabo? <laughs> <laughs> you talking about Mr. Mr. Top 15? I thought I thought you were talking about Ben Cleveland and or Ben Powers or Daniel Falele or Jalen Kyrie Phillips or Pepe, uh, Pepe Williams. <laughs> I mean we can go that on there. could have been uh, James Prochet, Tylen Wallace, Devin Duvernay. I, I don't mm. you gotta be more specific. Yeah, I mean it, they haven't and, and of course, you know, me and B weren't fans of of resigning uh, 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 Matt BK. right? I mean, excellent player, obviously, but when you have these type of issues on the offensive side, and we're talking about now, we don't have the money. That's why we didn't like the signing. Yeah. So for for me, I'm a, I'm gonna give the Ravens a Z plus. <laughs> I'm gonna give him a Z plus. Like E, like A B C D E F G H L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. 
<laughs> the and the plus comes in the, the Z comes in with the Derrick Henry sign. And the only reason I give them such a low grade is because we know the Ravens are gearing up to build up their special teams right now. You had two holes of guard. <laughs> you had two holes of guard. You don't really know what to expect from Ronnie Stanley. Like you don't know what you're gonna expect from him. You you haven't brought in a suitable replacement knowing that he was injured for three years in a row. We still don't have a replacement for Stanley. So if he goes down, I don't know what we're going to do. Now, with all this going on, you trade your right tackle. We weren't high on Morgan Moses, but this offensive line is in shambles, and everybody's saying, hey, let's let these young boys cook. Two years ago, we said that with the wide receiver position, and we saw what happened. Now you want to put Lamar's career and season on the line with guys that we don't know much about to say they might be good. I mean, they might be, but you don't know. We were so close to a Super Bowl. Why are we going in with some, oh, you know, we got some projects going on. We did that with OA. We did that with a lot of guys. We, we need to stop going. We need to go away from projects and go with stuff that's proven so we can get to where we want to go. <laughs> I hear somebody say you yeah. got a C plus in gym class. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my, my thing is, I, uh, I say you got a Z plus in gym I got a Z plus in gym class. LOL. LOL. Just kidding. LOL. Just kidding. Your mama got a Z plus. You say LOL. Just kidding. I don't even know who said it. I know you had a point with your saying you were in the AFC Championship game last year, right? Like, I'm a Panthers fan. They won two games last year. They had a lot of injuries on the O line, and I kind of thought that they would just kind of go into this season and say, you know, we're going to see what Brady Christensen's got when he's healthy. We're going to see if Austin Corbett can stay healthy, see what he's got. Uh, Chandler Zavala get him healthy and kind of figure out what we have on the O line. And I was prepared for that, and I was like, that's okay, right? You got a new O line coach, you're rebuilding, so yeah, just you know, run those guys out there, see what you got, and see where you really need to improve moving forward. The Ravens are doing that on a team that's supposed to be competing for a Super Bowl. And it does not make any sense to me. When I when I saw that thing come across my phone and said um um Morgan Moses was traded, I was like, mm-hmm. what the I mean, because I knew we were losing the guards. I, like that was in my brain, okay, we're losing the guards. I understand we probably gonna try to go young there or pick up somebody. And Morgan Moses, he ain't, he wasn't the best. Mm-hmm. He by far wasn't the worst. He was he was solid. So now you're looking at you got a like Mike said, you got what Lamar got the Ferrari, and you got three new guys that to protect a twenty six million dollar car. I mean, mm-hmm. two hundred sixty million dollar car. I don't like mm-hmm. that. Yeah, they don't care about them. I mean, I mean. You got a guy. Couldn't beat, you got a guy that couldn't beat out John Simpson. You putting a Lamborghini in a in a, a wooden shack that's got you know <laughs> plywood about to fall out on it. Holes in the roof. <laughs> <laughs> they got a Lamborghini under one of those uh <laughs> one of those car uh what do they call them? You know the, the carport car <laughs> those carports with those joists that's all bent and lean. Yeah, right. <laughs> the, the middle all folded. <laughs> It's, 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 you got yeah, you, you got Linda Bomb, you got Ryan, right? And and it may it may end up being all right. Can't be but, even like Ronnie, right? We don't know how healthy Ronnie is, but I do like the fact that he restructured and with a with it is heavily. And what else was he going to do? What else was he going to do? Hey, no. <laughs> yeah. I just told him no. I'm like, what you going to do? You going to cut me too? You ain't going to do that. They could have. They might, have. might as well. They might. Yeah. Have. You never know. You, Jeremiah, what do you mean? What guards were they supposed to pay? There were a bunch of guards of free agents. Edgewood Cleveland. They could have once they realized they were trading your boy. Well, Panthers got back cool. something. They yeah. did. They could have brought back Zeitler for all that. Right. right. Mm-hmm. Zeitler would cost what, what Dalton Rosner six million dollars. Dalton Rosner one year six million. million. Dalton Rosner like it's it's uh, so many Robert guards. Hunt, they Michael on Wayne, Damian Lewis. Uh, you could have gone well, back and got ben, uh, you could when got Bozeman. Could have brought Zeitler back. There was a bunch of people available. Your GM just sat on his hands. Right. Yeah, and that's the problem for me with this this off. It seemed like last offseason they were a little more aggressive, right? And you, you saw that they were they were pushing the chips a little further onto to the table. This this offseason they grabbed them motherfuckers back and like, nah, we ain't gonna we gonna we're gonna go back to who we used <laughs> gotcha. to be. And it's that's the, yeah, and that's the most frustrating part because you see all these other teams. 
that were in the mix mm-hmm. getting better. You know, could it be uh, because they they feel like since Lamar got money, we got to kind of be tight with ours. That, that's a poor excuse though you've seen other teams make it work with their franchise quarterback and get that quarterback weapons and protection um and you can't do anything for lamar you didn't do it when he was on a rookie contract so that's not an excuse and you're not doing it now the fact is you just don't care about the offense you don't care what if lamar is protected out there mm-hmm. yeah because it's yeah, like man it's like these like teams that ain't got no money i was thinking like mm-hmm. i'm cool with us getting derrick henry and i think right. you know he's yeah. great but i would have said I would have rather have one of those younger cats. Not saying Derrick Henry's gonna be bad. Yeah, but I would have rather have one. But of it's those it's the fact that throws. just like uh, you know, all other times they target less than the best. Mm-hmm. They didn't try to get Saquon and, and Josh Jacobs before they like they were locked in on Derrick Henry. Mm-hmm. You know, just like a wide receiver. Why are you inviting Michael Gallup and Josh Reynolds to visit? You ain't talking to nobody else. <laughs> so <laughs> here's why I wasn't a huge fan of Derrick Henry. Signing like it, that's one of those things. If, if we couldn't get Saquon or Swift, then you follow or Josh Jacobs, or Jacobs. Then, then fine. But to just target him, it's like Black people said, he's 30 years old. I still think he has a, a you know a good amount left in the tank, right? I expect him to have a good year this year. But if he doesn't, would would, would we all sit there and say, Man, what happened? It's Derrick Henry. How do you, you know, how come he's not looking like Derrick Henry? Or will we say, well, he is 30. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. And that's why I didn't want him. And, and then keep in mind the, the, the new O line gonna affect him too. Yeah. Mm. Right. Mm. Right. So all your money is is when well, I can say all your money, but a lot of your money is piled up in Lamar and, and Henry. And both of those guys need O line. Yeah. Because yeah, it ain't like Henry got these enormous amount of jukes to make all these people miss behind the line of scrimmage. Mm-hmm. He need he need to at least be able to get to the line without being touched. Cause like he ain't even make a bunch of people miss in the backfield, then go run for run over people. He got to get it. He's a guy that got to get ahead of steam going for the runway. Yeah, mm-hmm. so he he need right he need a runway. And so if you got a crappy old line and he getting hit in the backfield, that ain't gonna work. Right you now, where Saquon, where Saquon or Josh Jacobs or even Tony Pollard. They can make a guy miss in the backfield and, and, and then get you another whatever, whatever. Henry ain't that guy. But now now when Henry get a runway going, he may run over 900 people, whereas they can't do that. Yeah, but the same reason why Adrian Peterson's career was, was shorter than Adrian Peterson would have liked. Because like, he could still run, right. but he needed to be seven yards in the backfield and get ahead of steam going, and, and, and teams just weren't running like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? They want him. They want their running back standing next to the quarterback in the shotgun. Right. And Adrian's like, "No, I need to be back there. Right. Build your <laughs> build your offense around all day in 2023." <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Yeah, let's, uh, it, it, am I reading too deep into this, or is it weird that Lamar hasn't commented on the Henry signing yet? Or, or has he said anything? Because maybe I missed he it. He said something on Twitter, maybe when they yeah. did. I, don't, I can't remember. I didn't see anything. Like he, you know, this time last year when they had OBJ coming, you know, it was, you know, yeah, that's my guy. That this because they was hanging, they was nothing. hanging out though. They were hanging out though. I don't think you know. I mean, Henry was hanging out. I mean, nah, but it just seems like you know. I don't know. I just find that thinks little... that we're making the O line worse than what it seems. You don't even know who the O line is. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. Right? Nobody knows. They don't know who it is. John Harbaugh doesn't know who the starting O line is. Yeah, how you how you prefer Ben Cleveland to Kevin Zeidler? Go ahead and explain that one, please. <laughs> because he's on the team. Right. Right, come on, he's the Raven. I prefer Cleveland. Now I'm a I'm a Cleveland fan, but I I prefer Zeidler over Cleveland. What you who played well in the NFL before? Right. Yeah, I'm That's a, crazy. And I'm a fan of Cleveland. Hey, so wait a minute, Coach. The guy that just went to the Pro Bowl. That guy? What? I, I hope he works right. out. That's That's like, I mean, only thing we can do is hope that they work out because I mean, that's all we can like. Yeah. Now, now I you know, Chris ain't my, my draft guy, Chris ain't here, but um I know at pick 30, they better be calling a big fellow. I know that much. Right. If I see a quarterback, a cornerback at 30. If I see anything other than a big fella and not a defensive big fella, I'm gonna be highly upset. Mm-hmm. Highly upset. 
I, I man, I, I still don't think we should sit at twenty. If it, if that's the route we're gonna go, I think we should trade up. I think we should trade up. That would be nice for once. We got a hundred comp picks. <laughs> yeah. Move up and go get somebody that you really want. All right. <laughs> don't say that, Mike. Don't say that. They're gonna, they're gonna trade up and get an edge rusher. <laughs> trade them, get chop robs. Get right, get another, that, they're gonna trade up and get another safety. <laughs> so Jeremiah, you said Zeitler was injured. What is Cleveland's excuse? What's his excuse? Zeitler was actually starting. What's Cleveland's who, excuse? Who, who made nine million? Zeitler made six million, Jeremiah. Right. Yeah, I don't know where he's going with that. Who cares what they get paid? <laughs> like, play. you need guys that can play. Yeah, we, we need five guys that can play and be in sync. And we had, we had, we had three. Now we got two. And I don't care what you say. You got to pay the block. If you can't block, you can't do nothing else. I don't care. Like when, 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 when Pat Mahomes and Major Super Bowl and they old line was bad, you saw what happened. Pat was at the top of his game with Tyreek. Mm-hmm. And they, they O line was terrible. And you saw what was the Rams? It was the Rams or the Tampa Bay? Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. And when they couldn't block Tampa Bay, it means if you can't block, you can't win. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you can't block, you can't win. And, and and not saying that we won't get it fixed by the time the season starts. It's right now, it just it's bleak. And and trading, you know, they, I think he's I think John said they traded Morgan Moses because they needed some flexibility. And I just hope whatever their plan was worked out. I just hope whatever their plan was works out. Yeah, I, I, I want to see what they needed the flexibility for because since then they've signed core special teamers. <laughs> Brought back Chris Board. <laughs> Brought back Chris Board. Signed Arthur Malek. I don't know. We'll I'm, I'm cool with that signing. Okay. I like Art. Well, well, like, not, cool not, in, not in lieu of signing starting offensive linemen. No, thanks. but you were not gonna get a start a starting offensive lineman for the fifty five cent we got Marlette for though. <laughs> no, 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 no. You you was gonna get it for what you it. what you handed to, to Justin Matabika. That's what yeah. you were gonna get him for. No, y'all don't know, say y'all that. know who this is. Don't say that. Yes, <laughs> don't say that. Kentucky. <laughs> y'all gonna break the squad all huh? year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope not, because he was bad, boy. You talking about Sala was bad. <laughs> At least, but Tyshawn will if he get his hands on you, he might WWE suplex you or something. Good, <laughs> but it is diversified lately. Uh, so oh, my grade, I forgot what we were talking about. My grade, <laughs> like, I, uh, incomplete, incomplete. Mm-hmm. Okay. So they, 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 they address one position, huh? I feel like you got to give them a grade. We all get the grade. Cause you can't you can't go to the next you can't go to the next grade with incomplete. So F we call we gonna call that F. <laughs> so they fail. Incomplete. So they fail. Yeah, yeah. I, I gotta get mail. I gotta get mail. And me personally, because of it's the way the process went. Signing Derrick Henry is great. But I think Derrick Henry should have been because you couldn't get Saquon and because you mm-hmm. couldn't get um, uh, Josh Jacobs, Jacobs or, Scott, or Pollard. Or, yeah, that was, even I, even, I, ain't, I ain't even say Pollard because yeah, I, nah, I, I think I, I think Derrick Henry is, is better than Pollard, even though I would have liked Pollard because of age. Mm-hmm. But because you couldn't get those top two or three guys, then you should have, you know, had Derrick Henry. But I, again, not bitching about having Derrick Henry. I think he's going to do great. Um, and people that some people that think Derrick Henry is not a fit, we're we're transitioning to more outside and inside zone, and that's what Tennessee runs a lot of. So if we get more athletic linemen in this draft. And then we still do more outside and inside zone. Derrick Henry's going to fit right in. But we got to get the people the bodies to do that. We just we don't have them bodies yet. We just, we just don't. Linda Bum is that. Ronnie can do that when healthy. Uh, Falele is not a, a zone person. He's not. Uh, I think the guy that we just brought in, the Josh Jones person, mm-hmm. he can do some of that type stuff. Um, Cleveland, much as I like Cleveland, is not a zone guy he's a he's a he's a greg roman scheme he's a gap scheme dude so you got to get if you're gonna go and 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 be zone you got to get more athletic guys and Valela and cleveland don't fit that much as i want cleveland to play he just don't fit that so we, we'll try to see where they're going in the next two weeks well whenever the draft, the draft a month from now yeah the draft is actually a month from now so we'll see uh mike you gave a great 
<laughs> yeah, I think so. D, I gave him a D. I mean, I give, I give, I give slight credit for if if the, if you're going to keep Matt a BK, that was in your plans. I give him a slight, I give him slight credit for that, for getting it done before Chris Jones got his done. <clears throat> so you got him a little cheaper, Matt BK. But, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but I mean, like I said, they 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 aren't as they don't feel as active. They feel like they fell right back into, you know, the old free agent periods of 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 the Ravens of the past and. Last year they seemed a little more active, a little more, you know, pushing the chips in and, and spending a little more money. And, you know, um yeah. it took it took Philly to overpay, you know, slightly to, to Saquon to get him. Last year we overpaid to get get Odell in here. So why not why not do that again to get who you really want? You know what I mean? Um so they 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 looking real scary again this offseason. Well, I think that urgency came from the fact that they just didn't have Lamar under contract under a long term deal, and he was saying, yeah. "Go do this, go do that." Yeah, but it's just like I don't know, man. It's frustrating. Everybody in the division getting better. You know what I mean? Uh, everybody getting better, and then all all of the contenders are getting better. Right. So we are right there, and we seem to be falling back up to the back of the line um, rather than making some moves. So. We'll see how this draft goes, but I don't, I don't see any. I mean, you can get somebody solid at that pick, but I'm not seeing anybody that we're gonna get that's gonna, you know, oh yeah, he's gonna put us over the top. We we right back in contention. We right back into to being up there with these other teams who made moves. I mean, Cleveland, like Cleveland. I mean, look at Pittsburgh. Like they got better. Mm-hmm. They got better. So we'll see. So I'll give them a D just for. The fact that they got Matt BK cheaper than they, you know, than they could have paid like that Chris that Chris Jones contract. True, true, true. Uh, but and honestly, Mike, I, I think they got him for cheaper than they would have. But I don't think even if it had been, have happened afterwards, I don't think facts. he would have gotten Chris he Jones. Gotten because <laughs> no way. Because when you nah, look it at, wouldn't have got that. But you know, it would have. It probably would have. Yeah, uh, I, I don't right. think they got him for cheap. I think that you're you're paying quite a bit for a dude who performed for one year. Yeah, facts. yeah, yeah. I mean, I and know. even the Wilkins, Christian Wilkins deal. Yeah. You know, him going to Raiders is going to be a splash for them, though. Yeah. Him and Max on the same line. That's like everybody yeah. in the conference got getting better. Mm-hmm. Like the conference no, no, not everybody. Well, a lot of teams in the conference mm-hmm. getting better. <laughs> Fifth question What free agent left that's left out in the market would you like to see the Ravens pick up? <laughs> <laughs> can you go by the, can we go through that list of old linemen again? The uh, list of old linemen that's uh, left out there. Dalton Reisner. We got Dalton yeah. Reisner, Connor Williams, um, Makai Becton, uh, Dalton Reisner, Andrews, and uh, Andrews. What is it? Pettis, Pete, 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 Pete Andrews, Pete. Pete, yeah, Andrews, Pete. That's it. Uh, you got Bakhtiari, Charles Leno, Dwayne Brown. Bakhtiari, Bakhtiari's out there. Cornelius, yeah, Cornelius Lucas, Donovan Smith, Cam Fleming, uh, Jerron Christian, Roderick Johnson, Ethan, Mitch Greenwich, Ty, Ty Nietzsche. Um, let me see. Hold on. Bakhtiari, I mean, the thing with him is, you know. Lincoln Tomlinson, Andres Pete, who you just said, Phil Haynes, Cody Whitechair, Dalton Reisner, Matt okay. Failer, Justin Pugh, Chris Reed. I thought Whitehead was a center. He might be. I think he's a I think he's a guard. Oh, okay. Um yeah, Cody Whitehead. Um Batiari, I mean, I, I I guess I mean that that's that's risky because his injury injury history. Um but or or Andrews Pete, I think Pete plays tackle. And you put him at that right tackle spot. And Reisner. I believe Reisner's he's a guard. A, he plays tackle and guard. Yeah, so he gonna have to play he gonna have to play guard. <laughs> He's gonna, have, he's gonna have to do that, and if if something happens with Ronnie, he can't go. Then maybe he can slide into that spot. But we got to go O lineman, right? I'll take the I would, I, I would say uh, at this point, uh, maybe Tyler Boyd. Tyler, not not super thrilled about any of the offensive linemen that are left. Yeah, I mean Connor Williams, if he can stay healthy, he's. I mean, he's not healthy now. Right. Is Ronnie Stanley healthy now? 
Ronnie, Ronnie fine. All right. Mm-hmm. Ronnie Stop. came in and signed that restructure and got some of his money. He doing all right. I mean, it's kind of rough because it's not it's not much left out there. And people are saying, well, you know, we don't need it. We can wait for the draft. Like, we can't fill all our needs in the draft. We can't play a half full, a team half full of rookies. Hmm? You put bodies there. You that can put bodies they, there. I don't mean they're going to fill them, but you can put bodies. No, I'm agreeing with you. I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm just saying. Like you, and that's what people keep saying. The draft is right around the corner. Bro, we need two guards and a tackle. Yeah. We need a backup running back. We need a number one wide receiver. Apparently, and we don't, draft, we don't draft that well. We don't. And apparently we need another corner and another safety. Because I actually saw a, 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 a mock draft today where they drafted a safety in the first round. That's, Bro, I, was, this, I was done. These mock drafts with I was putting, done putting that uh, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Putting that joke, I was almost there. My bad. Cooper <laughs> <laughs> DeGene. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Cooper. But anyway, my, my pick is the guy I talked about in the last video. Uh, and I know we don't necessarily, you know, want any more defense, but my pick is um Gilmore. Stephon Gilmore. Oh, Gilmore. Did, did, yeah. didn't, didn't have a bad year last year. No, he didn't. Um, he's, he's still one of the top corners. I, f- I feel like if he would play outside with Brandon Stevens, you could put Marlo back where he comfortable at from time to time. Because the last time Marlo was able to go in and play some slot corner, he had a pretty darn decent year. When he was able to flip-flop outside to inside in situational football, Marlo had a, a decent year. And um, if, if you can get Somebody that you could trust outside when Marla went inside. I think you those three at corner with with uh with uh Marcus and and um Kyle and Kyle. I, I, I think that's pretty darn good on the back end. I think that's pretty darn good on the back end. I, I know we got enough on defense and we you don't need to spend no big money over there, but to me that's the best when I look at the list of free like the total list of free agents out there. Yeah, he might be the best thing out there. Like when you look at offense and defense, to me, he might be the best thing out there. There's left. You know, it, ain't, cool, it ain't a lot out there. Cool story about Stephon Gilmore. Go ahead. Uh, Carolina let him leave for nothing. Yeah, that was it. That's the, that's the entire story. Thank you, Scott Fitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, at this point, I, I like to see Clowney back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, in, yeah. In, in Van Noy on a friendly deal, you know what I mean. But I mean, that's about it. I like, I like, I like Gilmore. I like that too, Coach. Mm-hmm. But offensively, it just doesn't seem like as much out there. Right. Clowney about to be a flat earther. He ain't coming back to Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't. It's, and only, only even old lineman I see out there that I would even think about even talking about is um. Some of y'all, y'all, y'all just mentioned his name. Where is it? Which one? My team. Is it Rosner, maybe? Reisner. Dalton Rosner. I think it's Rosner, yeah. Rosner, the only dude that I would even consider. Like, he even, you know, to, to to even look into maybe talking about because that's what we need, guard. But I think I think guard, we just got to go young. Got to go young. I, I wouldn't be surprised, and I know I doubt if it happened, but if our first two picks wouldn't be, some sort of young O lineman. I'd be surprised if the first two picks were. I mean, let me too. Because you you got so many good receivers. You got so many good receivers. Well, so I wouldn't be saying that. I would say I think they're gonna go one O lineman and then one corner. Right. They're gonna go off of defense. Or trade back. Yeah. It's it's we'll see. We'll and see. that corner might be first. <laughs> Boy, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not my mind. They, they gonna love. They gonna love Cooper around here. Stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stop. He's gonna, have, be a, he gonna be a fan favorite, bro. I lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, with me, I don't care if it's Cooper, Kool Aid, uh, right? The, the local yeah, kid from here, Terry on him. I, mm-hmm. I would give a damn what corner it is. Don't go corner. You got two starting corners. You don't right. have you don't have five O linemen. All right. So this is gonna be interesting. Team. It is what it is. 
Let's see. You, I, I can see us arguing with fans about this all off season. If yep. we don't, if you don't get O-linemen. <laughs> they just going people just gonna gloss over that. And then when the season starts and Lamar's getting crushed in the backfield, right? Derrick Henry's getting crushed in the backfield, and people were like, "Why can't they block?" Told this you this is why. <laughs> right. Be like, told you. Tried to tried to tell you. And today. Tried to tell you. So now we up for the submitted questions. Uh, we got four, I think. Let me read them off to you. First one. First one. Well, just had a had a tip. I'm not sure if you saw oh, that. He did? I missed it. Let's I think see. he had two, to be honest. Let's see. Let's see what we got. He's oh, he did have two. Oh, my bad. He says B says uh, convert a linebacker to tackle and a, and a defensive end to guard. Isaac and Isaac. No, Isaac and Isaac. <laughs> 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 and then he dropped another twenty four. He said, "Let me get my Ooh, points up." <laughs> Appreciate you, B. <laughs> <laughs> hey, be like be like Brandon to get your points up. Go you hit go. The, little, the the pin comment. Hit the pin comment. Hit the pin comment and drop your uh. Just, that's our version of super chat that's right and get get it read online now normally i have a little thing going but stream yard has been acting kind of funny so i ain't want to have no extra stream uh screens open and my voice mm-hmm. be behind and all that kind of funny stuff that stream yard been doing here lately so that's why you didn't get the little animation or whatnot because it's been tripping it's been tripping but i just know the days are numbered for stream yard the days are numbered I already got a backup plan. I just got to wait to my subscription over. <laughs> That's it. Your days are numbered, stream yard. Fix your stuff. You got <laughs> countdown is on. <laughs> countdown is on. All right, but the first submitted question it says it's from I think yeah, it's from MJ. It says uh, what moves in your opinion will get the Ravens and the Panthers to the Super Bowl to win it all? What like next year? Yeah, nothing, nothing uh, actually. He, he didn't say he just said what moves <laughs> in your said, opinion yeah. we get the Ravens and the Panthers to the Super Bowl to win it all. Wow. Um I mean the the way the offseason's gone so far, I'm gonna say that neither one of them is getting to the Super Bowl next year. And uh, before if, before anybody else answer, I will agree. So I, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna I don't I don't think we oh, neither of one of us are getting that next year. I concur. Uh, I would say so there, there's doing? one there's one thing go out and get a player like Justin Jefferson, uh, you know who who will lower the importance of the O line a bit, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, we know that um, Cincinnati got there with a terrible O line because they had Jamar Chase, T Higgins, Tyler Boyd, Uzoma, uh, and, and Joe Mix. They had a ton of talent on the offense, so you know I don't think that they can really build a, a like a really good O line at this point. So go and get. The surefire number one receiver, and and just you got to start airing it out and scoring some points. Yeah, no, I mean, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's no, that's that's it right there. But you have to like we said earlier, the drop hip tackle did they outlaw on it, so you, you might as well go go offense, man. Because and, and and here shortly, you won't be able to to, to sniff an offensive player. Nope. Mm-hmm. There's gonna be a flag doing that here soon. <laughs> <laughs> so you might as well have the best offense, the most elusive off. Did y'all see what how long? Did y'all see what Tyreek Hill was doing in them French DBs uh, uh last week? Kill no. uh, He made yeah. he basically looked like me running routes versus a newborn baby. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it wasn't fair, man. You, so you got a baby in a lit the lit where you, you can put them in a little thing with the wheels on, they can stand and they up. can walk around. And yeah, there's like that's me lining up in a route and them trying to chase me. That's what it looked like. He, he was killing it, dude. <laughs> he, he was killing him, bro. and that's supposed to be like the best dude over there. Yep, wow. <laughs> but uh, like for, for us to make the Super Bowl, obviously, you got to get old linemen, mm-hmm. and Lamar would have to not only put on his Superman cape, he had to put on his Batman cape. His Iron Man suit, his Thanos glove, hmm. his um, what's the dude that be doing this thing? Doctor Strange. Strange. Doctor, he got <laughs> Doctor Strange magic, <laughs> and the, the lady with the red eyes, uh, the witch. You gotta have that. Scarlet too. witch. You gotta have the, the arm of um, uh, bucket. <laughs> and, the <shield laughs> and, the, and the shield of Captain America. And the claws of Wolverine. Right, <laughs> and then we—that's how we can win Super Bowl. Now the Panthers, um. It, 
Bryce would have to have all that Lamar. I just mentioned for Lamar. And he'd have to be the good dude from uh, what's Superman? Who Superman enemy was that that was from the same planet? <laughs> Bryce already uh, got a better oh, one. Zod. Hold on, let me finish what I'm General saying. General Zod. Yeah, he, he would have to be Zod and Superman in the same body. Wow. Put him in Super Bowl. Wow. <laughs> Disrespectful. Disrespectful. <laughs> I know. I'm trying because Bryce, Bryce much had, easier Bryce, to get Bryce to Bryce the Super Bowl from the NFC. <laughs> Oh, you were true. That's true. You're right about that. You are right about that. You're right about that. But long story short, it's tough for both teams Mm -hmm. with the way the office because because Carolina got had a lot and they've made a bunch of moves now. They had a lot to and they still suck. And we (laughs) we kind of seem like we're in the same spot or or even worse to me right now on paper. Mm -hmm. On paper. And I hope Lamar doesn't do any of that stuff uh this year. I hope he runs less. I want people to say, why isn't he running the ball? Because he can't keep saving this team. He can't keep saving these bad decisions, right? He he is a quarterback. He's he is a great quarterback. He's he's a great playmaker, and you can't abuse that talent just because you don't want to do your job in building around him. Mm-hmm. So if you're not going to build the O line, if you're not going to get him the talent, man, I, I hope we, we start seeing these checkdowns. I want to play just like Kirk Cousins. I want to see checkdowns. Throwing the ball away. <laughs> Don't run the ball. Nobody get open. Well, I'm throwing it away. Play, let him play that quarterback. Yep. Mm-hmm. Play that quarterback. Hey, one, two, three. It ain't there. Like Kurt Warner say, play on schedule. Uh, right. Kurt, if it ain't on, if it ain't there, throw it away. Let it play the next down. Mm-hmm. Let it play the next down. I, I, I make $260 million. And now mm-hmm. Snoop ain't there. I'm not saying Snoop was all world. But <laughs> Josh Johnson is my age. People got, got rid of that Pro Bowl quarterback behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Josh Johnson ain't, but hold on. Josh Johnson is five years, six years younger than me, people. So don't forget. That's crazy. That's crazy. Josh Johnson that is, is six crazy. years younger than I'm me. Not, I mean, he has so every team's five, jersey. Don't, don't, so if you don't know, Josh Johnson is six years younger than me. Only six. <sighs> Only. Get back in that gym, time. coach. You can be out there. I'll be down. <laughs> 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 hey, let me tell you. Let me tell you how bad out of shape I was. Day three of all that walking, mm-hmm. my body was like, "Bro, what are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> At day three, I hit like nineteen thousand steps. My body was like, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, mm-hmm. this ain't it, cause you doing too much." <laughs> <laughs> it, it it worked itself out, out about day five or six, but that first couple of days it was like. Mm-mm. What, what what you used to sit in the desk all day because this ain't it. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it got right eventually, but bro, it was it, it got rough. Second submitted question. Which backup? This is from Julian. Which backup slash rotational offensive lineman on our roster do you expect to take the starting role this year? Uh Ben Cleveland for me. Uh, it's gonna be uh, at least one of them for sure. Cleveland, Voorhees, and Josh Jones. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go Cleveland. Cleveland. I, I think. I think two rookies gonna start. Well, I think like mm-hmm. I think they're gonna draft guys, right? But like mm-hmm. one, Eric DeCosta is not really great at drafting old linemen. Like he hasn't been. Uh, or at the very least, I was like, he's not been great at drafting guys who can play day one. Mm-hmm. I think you can, I think it's tough to have the expectation of those guys, even even whoever you pick at 30 coming in and starting immediately, you know. That's um, why they need to trade up. That's why I think they need to trade. Up. Well, uh, one, here's why because if they trade up, it puts more pressure on Harbaugh to start that player at 30, or God forbid, we wait until the second round. That lets Harbaugh say, I'm not, I'm not, Harbaugh don't like starting rookies. Mm-hmm. So second rounder, nah, he, he'll go with, he'll go with Josh Jones over that guy. Right. So I think it has to be a first round pick. And I think we should trade up, you know, because it says, okay, this guy should be more talented and we spent a high pick. So he's got to produce right away. That's going to put more pressure to, you know, for that guy to get out there and play. But if not, we might have, we might have, it might be Ben Cleveland and Filele out there. Sorry, well, actually, I feel, I feel like if we trade up, two guys that we don't want out there are definitely gonna be out there. 
Isn't isn't Macari still there? He's he's still on the team. Oh yeah, right? I he'll, yes, he'll, he'll be, he'll be I'm a Macari. Yeah, he's still they, there. But they don't they don't want to start him. I mean, nobody wants to start him. But <laughs> like, <laughs> he'll, he'll be one of them guys. What you think, Mike? What the, what, what 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 you what you? What you I was gonna say Macari. <laughs> I was oh, gonna say Macari. Right. They find a way to get him out there. I don't I don't want any of them to start. Right. You know, it's just it's just not. I can see if we had that guy that's in the wing. We we don't have that, mm. you know. So it's like it got to be somebody new. The two starting two rookies scares me. You know what I mean? But that it's it's a problem. Like like you said, Coach. We always talk about protecting that Ferrari. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's not. It's, it's, we don't feel great about the protection that's that they have scheduled to be in the building. So mm-hmm. we'll see. We'll see how it goes, but. None of them. I mean, I would say Macari, but I mean, honestly, I think I think Ben Cleveland didn't play the worst mm-hmm. when he got out there. But I mean, at the same time, Ben had you know he had plenty of time, plenty of opportunity to to take over that spot, and he didn't. So we'll see, bro. But again, he for whatever reason, I don't know if he got the left side itis or yips or whatever. He wasn't in the competition that I feel like he should have been in on that left true, side. True. So, and he obviously wasn't as wasn't better than than Zeitler, and that's who he was behind. Yeah. So I, this is I'm gonna call it. This is my prediction as of today. I think Josh Jones gonna start at right tackle. I think Ben Cleveland gonna start at right guard, and a rookie's gonna start at left guard. I think they putting Jones at tackle. Yep. I think he could beat out for LA. You right. Lele you got, right. Lele got cinder blocks for feet. Yeah, you're right. I think they should they should announce that uh competition to the public unless some other people enter. They should really be <laughs> <focusing>. <laughs> they should really be focusing on a tackle in this draft. That too. They they that that starting right tackle needs to be that rookie, right? And with the hopes of him sliding over to the left side at some point. Yeah, we'll see. You definitely see. All right, third one from MJ again. <laughs> he said, give five ways Harbaugh can get better for right now. <laughs> five ways? <laughs> Mutually part ways. Retire. Get fired. Um, <laughs> go on a hiatus. Trying a sabbatical. <laughs> Bam. Bam. That's it. All right, next question. Kurt, Kurt Jenkins. <laughs> uh, and this may be trolling right here. He says, when are we going to stop making excuses for Lamar? Uh, he's the reason we couldn't afford to sign Calais last offseason. We couldn't resign Zyla between this <laughs> offseason. Hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. He's also holding Bateman back when he's wide open. We don't need another receiver. We drafted three first round receivers oh, for the ball. He's the common denominator. That's what Kirk said. This is this is no the the, 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 the common denominator. He's the common the other two produced. What are you I'm talking just, about? I'm just reading the, the, the I mean, I'm not sure. <laughs> Hollywood. Hollywood had a thousand. Zay set rookie records for receiving in Baltimore for receptions. He almost had a thousand yards. Bateman's the only one that didn't do anything. So how was Lamar the common denominator in this situation? I'm not saying Lamar is overworldly out there. He has his flaws like every QB, but you got to put certain things on Bateman. Because I've seen times when Bateman wasn't open or was open, and Lamar got him the ball, and he just butterfingers. Right. We don't talk about we don't talk about that. We just talk about oh man, I seen the film. But he was open. You know, Ravens fans love the hypothetical. They don't talk about what Bateman does when he gets the ball because it ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> he gets the ball and goes down. Uh. So, um, mm. the question actually was, when are we gonna stop making excuses for Lamar? So. We don't make excuses for them all. Right, right after you stop making excuses for Rashad Bateman. That is your answer, Kirk. And EDC and Harbaugh. Thanks. That's your answer, Kirk. I I can't make excuses for the two time MVP. Yeah, me neither. I, I, <laughs> I mean, the dude to me has done more with less than anybody mm-hmm. ever. I think it speaks for itself. Ever. Justin, Justin Herbert will find out. ASAP. I, I heard that Whoa. those were those not were diversity rocking. awards, though. He, he didn't really deserve them. What you right. say, B? I heard those were diversity awards, and he didn't really deserve them. <laughs> uh, that's, 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 that's what I heard from Bill fans. 
uh, because was... because the guy because the guy who's who's leading the league in turnover since he'd been drafted didn't didn't win it. Didn't win it. Yeah. And the guy with with a much better roster, he ain't right. did nothing either. Oh man, the guy with the number one receiver. No yeah. coach, no coach. Because the narrative is Josh Allen can't do it alone. He need help, mm. even though he had a twelve hundred yard running back, mm. eleven hundred yard receiver, mm. uh, two d two very good tight ends, mm. mind you. He needs mm. more help. Mm. 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 So we know it's not getting worse for him too, especially if they if they let Stefan uh, come to Baltimore. Please go. Yeah. All these quarterbacks that he's being compared to, outside of Mahomes, their talent is is starting. To, well, even Mahomes, his talent's going to start to decline because Kelsey ain't going to play forever. Right. But you know, we all think he, they're going to replenish the talent. But everybody else, I mean, Josh Allen, that's as good as it's going to get for him, as far as his, as far as weapons, unless they get lucky and get another another player like Diggs. But it's very hard to get a player like that. Yeah. Or oh, he started Kirk, giving. Oh, he started acting like Tom Brady and giving money back. Yes, yeah, but he ain't gonna do that. Yo, Justin Herbert is about to find out this year. Mm-hmm. Herbert lost a lot, man. And then yeah. what's Calvin showed that in he one wasn't season, that's, he lost. Yeah, that, and it's, one it's season, crazy that's like, that they went to Keenan and asked him to take a pay cut after his best freaking year. Yeah, that's wow. Even Joe Burrow, I mean, they they franchised T Higgins for this year. And T X for trade, right? He did. Yeah. He did. So he'll probably be gone next year. Tyler Boyd is already gone. It'll just be Jamar Chase. Now he's great, but that's a that's a big difference from having those three there to just having one of them. Mm-hmm. And Joe Mixon's gone. So that's gonna look different for him as well. Yeah. And oh, I mean, speaking of, and I know this is not what's calling, but Geno Stone went over there to um to Cincinnati, Cincinnati and he had a lot to say too. And I'm thinking to myself, boy, you might not even get your ass on the field in Cincinnati. Because <laughs> <laughs> they got three good safeties over there. Yeah. Not including you. Three, well, not they ain't gonna say good. They got three young safeties over there. Yeah. And you might not get on the field over there either. Yeah. You might be coming off the bench over there. Mm-hmm. And waiting on for somebody to get hurt so you can get the time your time to shine. So but anyway, all right, we got one more question. We're going to roll up out of here. So a um, little backstory. We took our trip. Me and my wife took our trip. And um, first day there, you know, we was walking around. My luggage got lost. So we was walking around, went to dinner. And uh, we were doing uh, boomerangs. And it was two guys beside us. And I guess they would kind of feel like, what the hell are these people doing? And so we eventually started talking to them. And they got in on a boomerang with us with a couple of drinks whatever. And we ended up meeting them, whatever. Uh, his name was uh, Martin and Peter. They were from, from Holland. And so we ended up meeting those guys and talking to them, having a good conversation. Ended up hanging out a lot with those uh, two guys and, um, you know, having a nice little bun with them over the next three days. We spent a lot of time with them over the next three days. And uh, kicking it, you know, just hanging out. Had a great time with them. And so that got me to thinking. And this is the last question for today. Let me see, Let me put it up. If you had European friends to host for a week, what one city in America would you take them to and why? Got to be Vegas. Okay. For me. What's your why? Because we don't put, listen, you, you, you've you got to experience what it means <laughs> to say what happens in Vegas Vegas. Stays in Vegas. <laughs> if you do it right in Vegas, you have a great time. Just ask Shug. Where's Shug at? I know Shug knows. That. <laughs> you you and Shug was uh, together in Vegas. Uh, nah, Shug, been nah, Vegas? I oh. can't. I got. I I can't hang with Shug in Vegas. I'm not. I'm 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 a married man. I'm older now. I I'm sure Shug will get me in a lot of trouble. I can't do that. But I know Shug has had good times in Vegas. Cool, mm-hmm. cool, cool. Hmm, that's a good question. I'm taking them to New York. Okay. Just it's because, fine. just because, like you, coach, for thirty something years, stayed in this Baltimore bubble. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, man, I need to go somewhere. I'm gonna go over the east side. I'm good. And that was it until I got taken to New York. And I will say, you know, I was a little bit grumpy on the way up there, but when I actually got to New York, I felt the difference. Mm-hmm. Like you can actually feel the city 
and it is so diverse with people just walking around and they never sleep. Like they always open. And I just think the cultural diversity is just something that somebody from Europe may be able to appreciate just seeing the melding pot that New York is. And it really is a special, special place. I ain't even gonna hold you. Yeah, I agree. I would say, I would say New York just for that, for that reason, man, there's so much to do there. Like I said, it, I mean, is a big melting pot and you have all kinds of different cultures, all kinds of things to do. Um, and that's kind of like the vision that people have come from, you know, that haven't been to this country when they come here of that big city, bright lights thing. So kind of give them that experience. Um, I would say, I don't want to say New York, you know, I'll say maybe uh, DC. I think there's a little bit of everything for everyone. You know, if you, it, there, there's cult, hey, whatever, head though. All right, you calm down. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of, there's a lot of different cultures in DC. You know, there's always some sort of event happening. And then, you know, also if you're into kind of the history and, you know, there's all the museums, there's all the monuments and, and important that you can walk in DC. Uh, you go to New York, you gonna be, you stuck. Like you, you try unless you unless you're trying to unless you're trying to get on the subway and get stabbed, you, you, you ain't gonna do it. We got into an Uber when we were in New York. We were 15 minutes from our hotel. It took an hour and a half to get there. This was this was 1:30 in the morning. Yeah, mm-hmm. after that Tia Fimo fight. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't pick any of those big spots. It took it took Chris like five minutes to park and find us though. <laughs> he's a new he's a new yorker he knew what to do. <laughs> I, in fact i gave him very vague location i was just like yeah you're there in a minute and he was there in like two minutes there are, there are 500 pizza shops within, <laughs> <laughs> within eyesight and he just rolled right up <laughs> you knew the exact location oh yeah i know that one <laughs> the one with the red stain on the wall yeah yeah <laughs> that one. Yeah, I, I chose New Orleans. Ooh, mm. I chose New Orleans because you, you, you're gonna get good food. Mm-hmm. Yes, you're gonna, you're gonna party hard. You're gonna get some 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 cultural aspects of it because the you know French colony and you got all the different things that went on. Uh, you can do excursions, <laughs> and just, you can get so many different things out of New Orleans without the the crowdedness of New York. Cause you can walk, or you can cab if you need to, and you know it's just you can get all that stuff that y'all talked about with New York. Maybe not as much diversity and maybe not as much history, without right on top of each other. Yeah. You can have a good week, right? And you probably ain't gonna get very much. Um... <laughs> <laughs> all right, <Pete. laughs> hey. A, a life, life be life, and Chris, yeah, thanks, life man. be life, yeah. life be life. We'll 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 figure it out. And get it get it get it worked out. We we'll get it, get it worked out. But uh, you get all that from New Orleans, I think. And for me personally, I haven't been to New York, haven't been to DC, but um, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Chris answer. Yeah. <laughs> we, we going to we going to New Orleans. <laughs> And uh, you know what? If they watching, because I know one of them followed me, they watching, they probably going with Chris. <laughs> they probably going with Chris. <laughs> but yeah, I, I would pick uh, New Orleans. So, but again, that, that my trip was awesome, and um, we took a lot of pictures. So it, eventually, we'll throw some out there. We may even get together. Me and her may get together and talk about it a little bit. But um, we went to the the event. We went to is called Las Falas. If you mm-hmm. want to look that up. You know, you guys can look it up. It's a bunch of, um, bunch of videos and stuff out there about it. Mm-hmm. We we had a blast, had a blast, had a blast. And um, like I said, I can't thank her enough for bringing it up and putting it together because it's one of the things I will not forget. No luggage lost and all, won't forget it. So, Damn. thank you, wife. <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate That's great, it, man. I'm glad you got to experience that. Mm-hmm. Now I think I got to put um B's destination on my list too. Cause we, we met um let me tell you how how crazy some things is. We met we met this couple at a paella cooking class and they have kids and they told the kids uh when you turn 13, you pick anywhere in the world you want to go to 
without your without your siblings and we'll take you how crazy is that damn wow. the older brother picked japan so they had already been to japan mm -hmm. the young they was a little sister was with with us and she had picked spain so they had already been to like four different places in spain by the mm -hmm. time we had you know we were ended up in the same spot yeah got that long money about to say. <laughs> That's crazy. I feel like, money. hey, you know what happened uh, on Players Club when, uh, when Luke them walked in that Burning Man hit that button? Money, mm -hmm. money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Money. money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, hey, like I said at the beginning, travel, man, if you can. If you can. If you get a chance, if it fit in your budget, if you get the opportunity, do it. Get out your bubble. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's a whole world out there that we've yet to see. We've yet to see. I just hate that I waited till I was I have all I was to start living. All right. Any parting words for, for the good people? Uh oh, so, shout out to Chris, man. I think his birthday coming up. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, right. yeah. His right. birthday right. Is tomorrow. Chris's birthday is tomorrow. That's why we me and Chris's draft thing on the wide receivers is not tomorrow because Chris is doing some things that he may regret tomorrow because tomorrow's his birthday so we'll see y'all wednesday unless chris so, can't chris make it wednesday <laughs> then right. so we may do it thursday <laughs> <laughs> but we're scheduled scheduled <laughs> <laughs> so if he's not through cheek clapping tuesday uh wednesday we might be on thursday depends on how long he claps cheeks so we may be setting a record. <laughs> <laughs> but Mike's birthday was Saturday, correct, Mike? Yeah, it's Saturday. So uh, we I shouted Mike out in the last video. I knew Chris's birthday is Tuesday. So happy birthday to you guys. You you March babies. Yes, sir. You look like Chase. Chase said his birthday Thursday. Chase. I miss did I miss it? Let me see. I don't see a Chase. Chase Miller. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Chase. I don't see it. Happy birthday. I don't see it, but happy birthday. There it is. There it is. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Appreciate you. Happy birthday, Chase. Happy birthday. Salute, Salute. to you. Salute. Salute to you. Salute. Uh, Mike, you up. Let them know what you got going on. I know you dropped something. Let, let them know what's going on. I got some haters. I got some haters making some noise right now. The, the Eagles they, fan they, hate. They, they on spring break, so they ain't got Eagles to go to bed. Nah, the, the little one. He on spring break. He ain't got nowhere to he ain't, So he hanging up. But uh, <laughs> yeah, man, nothing dropped yet. Uh, but soon, man, I ain't gonna keep telling y'all that every week. It's it's gonna come. I promise you. I, I promise you, it's coming. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, look for Ring Kings too. Ring Kings, we got some. We got a lot to talk about. Uh, boxing world is in shambles a little bit. Uh, you know, our man Ryan Garcia, man, <laughs> wilding out a little bit, but uh. Yeah, so we'll be over there too. If you have not subscribed in either place, me, open mic with OTR Mike, go and do that. And just go over there and subscribe to the best boxing podcast on YouTube. And that's Rain King's podcast, man. Um, we got some work coming over there as well. And thanks for salute to all of y'all seeing y'all men in the chat with the birthday love, man. I appreciate y'all. All right, this is for OTR Mike. That's his little. If you see that, hit the subscribe button. See that? Hit the subscribe button. Either one of them. Hit it. Yep. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Clap. Clap it. Clap it. Like this. <laughs> clap it. Clap it. Clap it. <laughs> okay. Hit no. You depend on the what's, what's the e, e M. What's the club called? E M D or whatever the hell it is. What is it? What is it? Since you got the party going, keep the party going. Hit no. <laughs> All right. You can find me at the Road Card on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok. We on the road to foe. Okay, we are like sixty something away. I think if I'm not mistaken. Make, make it happen. Make it happen, people. You know what I mean. Okay. Appreciate y'all for getting me this far. I appreciate y'all for getting me this far. You know what I'm saying. We do a Sunday night show, seven p.m. Myself and Brodney. Then on Tuesday nights at eight p.m. It's myself and Mr. Galloway on Electric Relaxation with Mr. Galloway talking all things hip hop. Then you can find me later on that night at nine forty-five with Brodney and Suge Knight on Suge Knight three two three doing the Steel Claw. <sighs> Appreciate y'all. Officially called conspiracy. Oh man, 
I was ahead to mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name one more time, Endo? Steel Claw. Steel conspiracy. <laughs> We don't and, even and, talk listen, and, and honestly, uh, if if you've seen the Sunday show, uh, any given Sunday, as he called it, uh, Henda has decided he's going to be rotating co-hosts over the next False. several weeks. Uh, and then at the end, he's going he to pick who he wants. I think False. I think that the 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 smart money's on Yolanda. False. Uh, so you know, hit up them videos, leave your comments, and be like, "We want Yolanda." And uh, and and we'll, Ronnie, we'll always trying to get out of work. That's not true. You're right, because if it's Shugs, if it's Shugs stream, you always there. Got you. Wow. Hmm. Wow. Jose and B. All right. Me and Brodney are the Lunch Break Hot Take. We do a live show every Wednesday night at 7.15 p.m. Eastern Time. <laughs> Hendo's going to be coming through this Wednesday. All right. So that's going to be a lot of fun. We have a lot to talk about. Also, uh, our overtime show, which happens after the main show. Uh, on our Patreon at patreon.com slash LBHT show. Uh, if you have as little as $5 a month, it is well worth the price of admission. We talk about a lot of things on that overtime show. So, you know, it's it's always something. So uh, <laughs> go over there, check it out. And Mike, you already mentioned Ring Kings podcast. That's myself, Brodney, and OTR Mike. All right, we're going to drop a new episode here pretty soon because, yes, Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney is a big fight coming up, even though Ryan's been acting crazy online. Uh, Deontay Wilder and Ji Ling Zhang are going to have what's essentially a, a retirement match because whoever <laughs> loses that, they're they're pretty much done. Cool. So, oh, uh, they cook. They they yeah, it's it. That's it. This this is the last hurrah for them. So we have a lot to discuss over there, and you can follow us everywhere on social media at LBHT Show and at Ring Kings Pod. Uh, so I do want to make this announcement if you have not seen or heard or know. That um, we'll be back this year with our draft coverage. It will be all yes. five of these gentlemen here with the entire mm-hmm. Deep Cover podcast crew. So that'll be Chris, Mike, and Kerry. Yeah, I know you enjoyed it last year. A lot of people enjoyed it last year. So we're going to run Indeed. it back this year. Uh, the first day is the 27th, if I'm not mistaken. All of us will be here for round one. Uh, I know I'll be here for round two. Not sure how their schedule goes. But we are not unequivocally not doing round three. <laughs> 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 so round one, we, I'm sure all of us will be here. That'll be a, that'll be a Thursday night. Um, round two is a Friday night. It starts an hour early, and it's two rounds. You know, you know, may or may not. Somebody may pop in or may pop out. But I know I'll be here, and you know, whoever wants to fall in and fall in. But we definitely not doing round three. That's a Saturday day. People got lives. But mm-hmm. one and two. Hopefully it should all the most exciting days anyway. And um, we'll be here to have that covered for you, you know, with a lot of uh, interesting talk about the prospects, because, I mean, you know, we kind of follow these cats. Um, me and Chris do a lot on it. Um, Carrie does a lot of stuff and he. Um, Carrie probably does more than most of us. He just don't talk about it a lot. So Carrie will probably be the number one guy talking. When we when these guys come up, especially some of these guys that we don't know about, I guarantee you, Kerry has something to say about. Them. <laughs> so you get your comprehensive if word from them, and um, and uh, yeah, I know two and three is on day two, Chris. I'm saying that that round that that four through seven, <clears throat> we ain't doing that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. Like what's Shannon? Are there Shannon mean? <laughs> nope. 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 Maybe on Twitter. Right. Right. Wait, we on. Yeah, we be on Twitter okay. watching it. And somewhere in doing our lives, but not on this screen. <laughs> but uh, yeah, all of us, all five of us, and the entire Deep Cover um, podcast will be here to to do that again. It's, it'll be your best, comprehensive, knowledgeable, fun. Don't forget fun because we had a blast year, last year. And it wasn't just for it was all kind of jokes, all kind of you know popular references. It wasn't your regular boring. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna just leave it at that. It's an inside joke that we have it, that we saw. It was some boring <laughs> stuff, and ours was was not boring. It won't be boring this year. We put some we put some seasoning in the nice stew. What? It wasn't, just, it wasn't just salt and pepper. Right. It wasn't but, just bread and mayo. It, it's it wasn't fantastic. a bread and mayo sandwich. <laughs> it was some actual real <laughs> right. seasoning and fish and, and meat and sides and stuff. 
Uh, now, Chris, you responsible for this now? Since you saying you gonna, that's what? in your budget. Yeah, that's in your that's, budget, that's Chris. You all day. <laughs> I'm gonna be watching, but that's in your budget. <laughs> so, Chris, promise you that. So, what we're gonna do is on commercial break, we're gonna make it like one screen like this. And we, it's going to be just Chris. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but just wanted to put that out there so you can start making it, um, making plans to, to be here. If you're not going to be somewhere out in the public, if you're going to be at the crib, you might as well have the draft on your TV and us on your phone or on your computer or whatever, because we're going to have a great time, man. Really, are. We had a great time last year. And if you don't know, ask somebody because people were trying to get in here with us. Hmm. And I, I guarantee you that people were trying to get in here with us. That ain't no BS. Cause we had a great time. So um, that's all I got for you today, man. Follow me here. You're already here. Follow me on more. the tally. I got a video about um, lad. I got a video about lad coming out. Um, I don't know if it should come out tomorrow. Should come out tomorrow. So make sure you check that out on the second channel of on more. the tally. I got some more stuff. I'm going to talk about, about Mike McDonald over there too. And I got some stuff. I got another wide receiver video coming out too tomorrow. For, I forgot who I did. My pet, my my notes are at work. I forgot who I did. I know I did lad, and I did somebody else. Oh, Malachi, Malachi mm-hmm. Corley. That's who I got. So Malachi will be on this channel. Lad will be on the other channel. Then I got something about Mike McDonald and his stuff in Seattle. So I uh, see y'all soon, man. Peace and love, and um, we'll run it back uh, tomorrow night. Hendo, you you and what's called tomorrow night? You and um, me and Dre. You and Dre, and me then and Dre. Wednesday, Wednesday. It's me and Dre, then it's me, Brodney, and Suge, because apparently we have a show them tomorrow. Mm-hmm. That's tomorrow. <laughs> no. That's conspiracy. Yeah. Claw. Claw. And, and then Wednesday, uh, lunch break, hot take, the regular show and the overtime show. Yes. And then Monday at 6 o'clock, Big Mike. God damn it, Chris. Monday, <laughs> 6 a.m., Big Mike. <laughs> Dropping the episode <laughs> Monday, 6 a.m. Big Mike dropping the episode <laughs> Monday, yeah, 6 a.m. Big try, Mike. Ain't try, ain't, ain't try. <laughs> Mikey, what up, Mikey? What's what up, Mike? Mike? Wave, <laughs> he like now. You want to be shy? I ain't now seen you want to be shy. gentlemen in months. How are you? Hey, Mike. You being good? Uh, let me get strippers off there before he can read that. <laughs> yes. Say yes. Again. Hey. Hey. It's, it's bedtime. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, ah. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not bedtime. Ah. It's not bedtime. Don't be silly. It's not bedtime. He said he, he, said he think I'm going to bed. Hey, I, I, told, I told him it's bedtime. He's like, oh, I gotta go. Right. He, he, you know, with that, he like, and I, I ain't hear that. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey, everybody, we about man. I appreciate y'all for coming through, man. We'll see y'all the next time, man. Peace and love. Peace.